my advice to young people that want to make a difference to promote peace in the world is to start now. You don't need to wait. You don't need to be called a peace builder before you start to work for peace. Peace is a positive state of social justice and not merely the absence of war. Peace is a language that we all speak. Whether you are a student, whether you are a teacher, whether you are IT specialist, whatever your profession, I urge you all to work for peace to make a difference. And the best way to do it is to start from yourselves. Change your perception of others. Imbibe tolerance. Embrace peace. Embrace unity. And encourage your family and friends to do it. Start it now. Peace is possible. We can all make a difference. Um, I'm a student at the United Nations International School here in Manhattan. I'm here with the MMC Youth NGO. Um, we're in the front row. Uh, first of all, thank you guys so much for sharing your stories. It's a true inspiration. Um, and I just have a quick question for all of you, if it's possible for all of you to answer. Um, you've all created such incredible organizations, and I was just wondering if you could all just tell us about some of the challenges that you faced and how you overcame those mm -hmm. um, in order to succeed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Imrana, you can, you can start us off. Okay. W one of the challenges I faced when I started is the issue of safety, because my work is about weakening the appeal of uh, Boko Haram insurgency, and because I live in the hotspot, at that time, discussing the issue of Boko Haram easily evokes fear. People don't want to even talk about it. So sometimes when I approach the schools, we say, we have program here. They say, no, please, don't do it. Because if Boko Haram get to know about it, they may end up attacking the school. So uh, the first challenge is about safety. And at later time, when the situation starts to improve, the second challenge is about kind of recognition the importance of the work you do mostly from local authorities. Uh, sometimes they just perceive the issue of violent extremism as a security threat that can only be addressed through the use of force. So when you come to explain about your work, this is what I do, that kind of encouragement, you don't get it. So if you don't have like just the passion to continue, you can easily abandon it. And that issue of recognition also translates to issue of funding, because when someone is not interested in your work, he won't even take the issue of funding your initiative serious. I think to me there's uh, two challenges that I face. Mm 